Well, I've sort of come from a, a long line of teachers in my family. My, both my parents teach uh, traditional martial arts. Uh, my grandparents owned a secondary school back in the UK. And so uh, teaching has always been, in a sense, in my blood. So I knew that even in my practice as an actor, as a martial artist, um, I knew that that was always intertwined with the teaching aspect. Uh, I learned, um, but I learned to teach as I was learning. So there was always a constant kind of cycle of understanding to impart, uh, which is why I took this master's, um, knowing that, going into that. Um, I've taken a lot from it. Um, I've spoken in my first conference. Uh, I've uh, recently been published, it's the first published article I have uh, on, on Silat, uh, on the style of martial art that I do. So I kind of travel in this uh, two veins, these two systems that I work with, the martial arts aspect and, and the acting, the theatre. And my passion has always been trying to merge the two or seeing how they can have a dialogue with each other, how the actor can help the martial artist and vice versa. And uh, so uh, this course has kind of given me the knowledge, the agency, the critical thinking skills to be able to explore it. Um, and also to document it, because I think that's an important part of uh, my process as a traditional martial artist. As with any living tradition, uh, especially an oral tradition or something that's experiential, to be able to document it so that um, a long way down in the future people will have access to this uh, information and it doesn't become lost. Uh, yeah, I, I think that that is going to be continuing, um, that's going to be a continual process. Uh, on my part and this is just a stepping stone towards what I'd like to achieve uh, which is to write more, to engage more uh, in the field of academia, in the field of research and of course in the field of teaching.